Zuma, acolyte of death, at your disposal. You what? No, I trade a path of spirituality, a liaison for his chosen, namely, you. I can disenchant clutter in your inventory, enhance equipment with the right materials, and can offer guidance regarding your newfound immortality. Or just come over and we'll bongo, I don't care. Eternal thanks, Pop. Listening to that archer talk was torture worse than the Amaroks. Now, oh, you're here for some training, yes? So the sheep becomes the shepherd, culling them to this fool's paradise. Is the promise of a reward worth feeding them false hope? I won't blame you either way. We're all slaves to our vices after all. Apologies. You've saved me, and I've yet to introduce myself. I am Nymeria from Mistra, the Spring Isles. As promised, I have some teachings for you. Shall we begin? Devotion is found wanting. Come <laughs> on. 
Well, well. Maybe there's redemption for you yet. Passed on when his care sure right. Rumors would have us believe Cyrodiil's source of immortality lies somewhere within. If you intend to continue this journey, that is where I'm headed. Why you wish to go to Care Shore, I while already an immortal confounds me. But I don't care much either way. Just know that if you attempt to take the source, I will cut you down without hesitation.
This church was a monument to him. Once, the bulwark chosen of Baldwin, people clamored in adoration. They sought to be anointed, as he was, by self-proclaimed gods. Usurpers who touted him like a trophy, inspiring entire generations into fervent devotion. In return, they promised immortality. Then you walk among the fools and the ghosts of Elduin. I watched as the bulwark's mind and body slowly decayed, until all that remained was his reaching soul. But he never lost his sense of purpose. Despite any who prayed here, having long since perished. And now you, who have silenced his thunder, this storm that once heralded judgment, now who shall deem whether one is worth becoming immortal or not? Perhaps I shall take upon his mantle. Disturb the dead. Why have you come to disturb the dead? Leave this place and honor her memory. Whether you find her or not, no one is truly alive here. Empty, save for the memory of my parents. to bury. Time and their arrogance made certain of that. But their consciousness endures. 
A story for another time, perhaps. Follow me. Beyond these gates, you'll see Kirsi or I. Within its walls is the dreaded source of immortality. Look upon the citadel and consider your next move carefully. I found this missive on a corpse here. It carries the royal seal of Vados, but most of it has been scribbled over. F Fink? Fink has... you... now. <sighs> it's just the ditch. I've been in worse situations. Trap bed feels good. Mustn't let them get away. No, no. Answer Trixie questions, and maybe Fink will keep one surface dweller as pet. Not garbage. I'll wring your screeching throat, you mongrel. Fresh meat, stop flapping mouths. Answer Trixie questions. Ah, of course. Your confounded immortality. Some of us don't have the luxury to live without thought. This land is called Saradin. Trues are falses. Hmm. Dumb luck. Or cleverer than you look. Next! First item you'd pick up was tasty, tasty dragonberry. Trues are falses. How did you remember? Ugh, no matter. Next question's harder. Name of the first incentive to sit on the throne of Kacha Big, 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 big castle. Such history is mere speculation. But if memory serves, it was Chocosta Holdsman. My life is on the line here, unlike you. Chocosta <laughs> may have been their inquisitor. Like I said, the history of that time is mostly hearsay. Not if I have anything to say about it. I'll be 